Hey guys, PKFTZG here, and welcome back to the channel. Today is a big episode, and I'm so excited to be sharing this with you all, and that is my 300 subscriber special. That's right, we finally hit 300 subscribers a couple days ago. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you uh, subscribers to the channel and you viewers of the channel. Uh, today we'll be opening up a grand total of 60 Silver Tempest packs and one Silver Tempest uh, Evolution pack. Uh, the 50, 50 of these codes were given to me by my um, by a good uh, co fellow content creator, uh, Mellow Magic Harp, Kevin Clemente. So I want to thank you so much for these codes. Uh, I can't wait to open them and see what I get and kind of get a jump start on my Silver Tempest uh, journey here. So let's just d dive right in. Uh, I'm super excited. All right, here we go. First pack. What are we gonna get out of Silver Tempest? This is this is very exciting. So uh, again, I want to thank you all for uh, 300 subscribers. Now let's see what we get. All right, we got Durant. So all some of these are like okay. Uh, Lance is might have like a Reggie Drago sort of thing, but I don't think so. Okay, first one, a Gardevoir. Yo, look at that. Gardevoir character rare. This might see some play, so I'm super happy to have that Gardevoir. And, alright. Arma, Arma, Armeldo. Excuse me. Okay, um... I mean, not too good, but, okay. We got the Gardevoir. I'm excited and happy that we got the Gardevoir. Alright, here we go. Next pack. So we're kind of looking for stuff for Lugia, or Regidrago, or Vikavolt Regilecki. Those are the kind of big decks that I want to build. Alright, a Clink Clank. So, uh, Quadstone is a very interesting card. Um, Quadstone allows you to, uh, if you have all four of them, you can heal all damage from all your Pokemon. Which is pretty cool, but that's like very gimmicky. Uh, Dedenne is part of, uh, uh, that gim that weird, uh, rat deck, as people like to call it. So, uh... We might try and test out the rat deck on the channel here. Um, but, yeah, let's let's take a look at what we get next. Okay, Fennekin, that's good for that Brayson deck. Uh, Leafy Camel Poncho is also good. Candice, I don't think that's a very good card. We do get a Delphox. Okay, um, nothing too great in these first, like, four packs. That, but that's okay. We have so many to go. There we go. I'm... Uh, this seems so weird, but V-Guard Energy, I'm so happy I have a V-Guard Energy. Um, you take 30 less damage from your opponent's Pokemon V, uh, which is super good right now. And we get a Victini. Alright. So, nothing too great, but there, again, there are still plenty of packs to go. Ooh, alright, we're coming up on a Reverse Rare, Character Rare, or uh, Radiant. So, let's see... Okay, a Rapidash with a Heat Boost ability. That's pretty neat. And Victini. Okay. Can we not pull Victinis, please? Uh, I saw someone else pull, like, a whole bunch of just Victinis, and that wasn't super great. Yes! Serena! Alright. Serena is a super important card right now. Um, and that is you can discard up to three cards from your hand, uh, and, t and you can draw until you have five, or it it's a boss on your opponent's bench Pokemon V. So, Serena is definitely, I'm going to start playing it in a lot of my decks, and I'm pretty sure you should too. Um, Workers, another good card, is draw three cards and discard a stadium in place. So this is, like, really good for, like, Mew VMAX or something that might get stadium countered. Uh, so, we'll see how Worker and Serena turn out. I think Serena is really good, but Worker is a pretty cool card that I think we should explore more. Noivern. Okay, this is, um... Uh, Radiant Hunt, knock out one of your opponent's Radiant Pokemon, which is pretty alright. Um, and then 7th Echo, draw until you have 7 cards in your hand. So, no Ultra Rares yet, which is really weird. Um, but we did get a Serena, and we did get some V-Guard Energies, so I'm not too disappointed right now. Furisode Girl, uh, I pulled a Rainbow one of these in real life, but it's Searcher Deck for a basic Pokemon put on your bench, and you can switch it. So this could be really good for... Uh, that rat deck, or it could be good for some single prize deck that might benefit from uh, being in the active spot, or whatever. Uh, and we get a uh, Hizuian Lilligan. Okay. Yeah, I hope that we're just filtering out all the bad stuff right now. Uh, because 
I would really like to be getting some uh, hits here. All right, we get a Talon Flame. Okay. Um. All right, 160 for one energy. Uh, Meowstic. Meowstic uh, allows us to search your deck for up to two supporter cards when we evolve. So that could be an interesting concept, but I don't think that's really what we're looking for. So a little bit of a disappointing start, but I mean, I'm super grateful that I have this sort of stuff. Rapidash, okay. Um, so we got another Dedenne, and we got more Pico for the rat deck. So, like, this is okay. All right, woo, there we go. We got a reverse breaks in. Uh, Flare Parade, uh, 60 damage for each Serena in your discard pile. So we might be playing some breaks in on the channel here. And a Trekion, okay. So I don't think that's really that good. Uh, Brandon is gimmicky. Um, yeah, all right, let's go to the next one. So not too great. <laughs> uh, all right, we got Gym Trainer, uh, and we got Everizian. Okay, so... All right, can this be just kind of like the filter, quick filter of all the stuff that we don't want and or need? All right, we got another worker. Cool. Um... We got a Crobat. Okay, Crobat's pretty cool. Crobat, with Critical Bite, allows you to do 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon, and if it's knocked out, you take two more prize cards, which is really good. Um, especially if it's on, like, a VMAX for some reason. Uh, I don't remember. There was a Pokemon... You could probably do, like, a Shedinja or some combo with this, um, where you put their HP to 10 or something, and then you knock it out with Critical Bite. Uh, it's... Kind of, I think that's a little bit risky to do, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, Altaria. Move all damage counters from one of your bench Pokemon to your opponent's next Pokemon. Okay, so Altaria is pretty cool too. Uh, okay, Magirna V, first ultra rare. I don't think Magirna is going to see a lot of play. Uh, 220 and Choice Belt is uh, uh, 250. So I don't think Serena, or sorry, not Serena, Magirna V is going to be that good. But okay, that's our first ultra rare. Looking up, hopefully. Um, next pack here, I believe we are like 11 or 12 packs in. But Whale Lord, jumbo size. I'm very excited uh, for this Whale Lord because it's super good. And uh, we can pair this with something like Frostmoth. Uh, and we have an Oriados. Okay, Oriados is pretty cool, too. Uh, V-Star attacks cost one energy more, uh, which is pretty cool. It's a very, uh, I don't know if that's gonna see any play other than in, like, Zoroark, but that's a pretty cool, fun, uh, concept to kind of jam up your opponent a bit. Keep them from using their V-Star attack for a turn. Okay, um, we get... Yo! <laughs> Let's go! We got Raihan and we got Duralid on VMAX. This, oh, I love this art. It is, quite honestly, is one of my favorite arts I've ever seen. Uh, the city, Raihan just kind of like letting it all out and Duralid on just, ha they're having the time of their lives. Oh man, that is a great card. And our final card, yo! Look at that! Double hit, Reshiram V. Uh, Reshiram doesn't seem too great, but I will take a full art Reshiram V any day. So a double hitter here. Finally, we are starting to get the good cards here. So, uh, man. <laughs> uh, Sunflora. It's another uh, deck we might cover. Um, we got more rats for the rat deck. <laughs> And we get a Hazuian Braviary. Uh, okay. So, nothing too amazing. We're getting all the rats for the rat deck, which is nice. But, <laughs> that double hit pack. Raichu, cool. Alright, I've been wanting to show off Raichu. Um, if they use their V-Star power, uh, your opponent used their V-Star power, then it does uh, 240. Or, one, sorry, 140. And that's really good if you're up against, like, Lugia or Palkia, because then you can kind of just Raichu out of nowhere and... Uh, knock him out for with, with weakness. And then we do have more Pico for the rat deck, too. So, and then we have a Metagross. Okay, so Metagross isn't that great, but we'll, we'll just keep turning along here. Uh, let's see. Okay, alright. Character rare, possibly. 
All right, Passimian. I love this Passimian. <laughs> he just looks so big and buff, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Is Pissimian actually that big? I can't tell with the uh, I can't tell with like the height and weight, and whatever. But, dude, like the guy is so small next to Pissimian, it's actually kind of funny. Uh, and then our last card is a Chestnut V. Okay, uh, Chestnut is a pretty funny sort of deck. If we get multiple Chestnuts, then this would be great. Um, so we might. <laughs> there are so many decks that we can go with uh, Silver Tempest here. A lot of them are budget decks. Which I really appreciate, because that means I don't have to spend a whole bunch of uh, packs or whatever. Okay, we do get a breaks in. Uh, I believe we now have two breaks in. Yeah, we now have two of these breaks in, which is nice. Uh, and our rare is Crocodile. Okay. So, um, we're getting stuff for decks. There's definitely a whole bunch of stuff we can do with these. Uh, Pikachu! Yay! We got the Pikachu. We got Emergency Jelly. Um, let's see. Yo! Professor Burnett, full art, full art Trainer Gallery. Man, this card. Search your deck card to two cards and discard them? Uh, oh, man, that looks nice. And Talonflame. All right, Professor Burnett. Coming in and uh, saving that pack. All right, so we're 20 packs in. It's crazy. Okay, another Serena. Okay. We want to get four Serenas. Uh, another character rare. Smeargle. I love the Smeargle. Just looking at that guy in the corner there. Um, one of the top five cards of your deck, and you can... Uh, so this is a good pre-release pre pre card. I don't think uh, it's going to be good anywhere else, but I do like that art on the Smeargle. And we get another Reshiram V. So maybe we will cover Reshiram on the channels, because we now have two Reshiram Vs. That's pretty sick. All right, let's go on to the next one. So, we're starting to get, like, some of these double hitters, which is really nice. Um, as soon as I say that, I don't get a double hitter. Um, alright. So, nothing that important out of that pack. I think we have more than enough, uh, Togedemarus for the rat deck. Breaks in, and, uh, reverse to Dene. Okay. So, we got another breaks in. So, that's our third one. Animus Magius. Uh, not... That's not that good. <laughs> Miss Magius isn't that great. Alright, um... Another V-Guard Energy. Okay, that's good. That's good, let's go. And... Among Us! Among Us! Um... Discard your opponent's entire hand. Now, this is just a meme. They literally threw this card in there because it has Among Us. It, it's just an Among Us. Alright, um... A couple new cards. Uh, Emolga... Unidentified Fossil, I think, is the biggest one. Candice. Okay, 260. But that's 4 energy. So I don't think Glalie will see much play, but that's cool. Okay. Let's see what we get out of this next pack. Okay, double hitter, possibly. Double hitter, and I believe we have enough Fennekins. Let me just... Sorry for checking, but we do have 4 Fennekins now. Okay, we're good. Okay, Terekian, not... That great. Reggie Lucky V. Yes. All right. There we go. Reggie Lucky V. We got the uh, V for uh, Vikingbolt Reggie Lucky. Cool. So 26 packs left. Or uh, sorry, not 26 packs. 26 trade lock packs. A uh, rufflet and uh, another Hizzlian. Okay. Womp womp. <laughs> we're starting to hit like we're we're getting some stuff, but I think this is kind of like worse pull rates than some other sets I've opened. And this is, like, my biggest opening yet on PTCGO. So, I mean, uh, like, I don't know how many uh, hits and misses you're supposed to get. But, I mean, if we keep getting these double hits here. Radiant Rachi! All right. Entrusted Wishes. If it is in the active spot and is knocked out, then you get to search your deck for up to three cards and put them in your hand. That's super good. And uh, this could be used in some combo decks. I think uh, Zoroark might really benefit from this card. And then Astro Misfortune is like that Cleavor from Astro Radiance. Uh, flip two coins, if both of them are heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out. So, this is really cool. I really like Radiant Jirachi. I really like, uh, even though Jirachi Shiny isn't that different from actual Jirachi, I do really like this card, and I think I will be using Radiant Jirachi in one of my decks. 
And an Archeops, okay. I accidentally right-clicked Archeops, but Archeops has a Primal Turbo turbo ability, excuse me, and search your effort up to two special energies and attach them to one of your Pokemon. This is what makes Lugia so good. So I'm glad that we now have a Radiant Jirachi and we have uh, an Archeops. So we'll just keep moving along. All right, another double hit. All right, Talonflame. We have way more than enough Talonflames. Dragapult, Dragon Launcher. Search, uh, discard a number of your bench Dreepy from up to the number of your opponent's Pokemon in play. Uh, then for each one, you can choose one of your opponent's Pokemon and do 100 damage to it. it in other words, you're basically uh, just sniping. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I don't know if Dragapult will be that good. <laughs> or if it's even like worth considering. It might be just a fun, cheeky sort of meme. Okay, another Raichu. I uh, don't think... Any of these other cards are good. So, I mean... I mean, we're getting some stuff. Which is nice. We're getting some things. But are we getting anything great? Not really. We haven't gotten that many good things. I don't think we've gotten a single V-Star. Which is kind of sad. But... I mean, hey, I got... all Basically, almost all of these packs for free. So, again, big shout-out to Kevin. And, uh... To Pokemon for these uh, packs here. Uh, Cobalion and Rapidash again. Okay. So, I mean, all right. <laughs> okay. Another double hitter. My goodness me. Ah, Keldeo. You ruined the party there, Keldeo. So we're starting to get a lot of just random duplicates of uh, not very useful cards. If we can get, like, Serena or V-Guard energy, I'd be very happy. Okay, I think that's our fourth breaks in. That is our fourth breaks in. Including the reverse one. <laughs> yeah, let's go! We now have a Lugia V-Star. So, Tempest Dive, 220, and summoning, and you can discard a Stadium in play, and Summoning Star. Uh, you can put two Archeops on your, uh, discard, from your discard pile on your bench. So, uh, <laughs> we do have a couple pieces to Lugia now. I know I made a video about how Lugia might not be as good as people hyped it to be. I could be. I think I'm very wrong with that uh, video, but <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, wow. All right, we got a Lugia V Star. So I just said we don't really have any V Stars. Um, way to come in and uh, change things up a bit here. I really like that. Uh, Laventon, Hizuian, eh? Might Hizuian Zoro single prize maybe? Okay, so. We're kind of whittling down all of the trade lock packs. We still have plenty to go. Uh, we have all our races now, so... I mean, if we can maybe get some more rats, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't call Pikachu a rat, really. I, okay, an Archon. I don't... Archon, Archon. I don't think they eat Archon, though. Uh, another Reverse Morpego. Okay. Oh! Ho, 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 ho! All right, full art Reggie Drago V. Oh my gosh! Celestial Roar. Discard the top three cards of your deck, and if any of those cards are energies, attach them to this Pokemon. Don't know. Uh, Ranguru might be good, but I don't think that people are going to focus on that. Dragon Laser. Uh, one hundred thirty and thirty twenty. Your opponent's bench Pokemon. All right, but we want to focus on that V Star. But hey, I'll take a full art Reggie Drago V. Um. Let's see here. We are, we're really starting to get some of the better stuff. So this second half is really kind of pulling everything up. Incineroar, uh, you can use a previous evolutions attack and use it as this attack. So, uh, eh, okay. Um, okay, another double thing, hopefully. Oh, man. <laughs> another Radiant Jirachi trade log. No. It could have been any other Radiant. Nah, Victini. I have three of those now. I don't want those. Give me something else, please. Okay, um... Alright, here we go. Oh, okay. Hizui and Arcanine V. Um, this is good with Galarian Zapdos single prize from Evolving Skies. So, uh, definitely something to keep your eyes peeled for. Uh, a deck, it's kind of... It's pretty fun. I did see a list about this deck, so I mean, you could we could definitely make this work. Uh, so many decks that I'm kind of like 
getting cards to that we can kind of work with. But we'll kind of have to see going uh, going forward after this uh, what we do with them. Um, uh, one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video is uh, I do have a special announcement at the end of the video. Um, and that special announcement is uh, pretty pretty important for the channel, I think for me at least. Uh, so yeah, if you want to hear that, then stick around to the end of the video. Um, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing that we haven't already seen. We have four Rhinachus for some reason. Um, Alright, Fionn is pretty garbage, not gonna lie. Uh, 17 uh, normal packs left. So... Unknown V-Star, okay. Uh, it's not that great. Uh, I do like the Star Cipher. I feel like if somebody figures out how Star Cipher can keep Unknown going without it getting instantly KO'd, then I would definitely like to play Unknown V-Star. But until then, Unknown isn't that good. I, I hate to say it, but Unknown is not that great. Okay, another double hit. Ooh, Zerora V! Oh man, the CrossFit, this, this is the Rapid Strike one, so this is the better one. Oh man, okay. I might have to play that in like Sylveon. I have been kind of uh, just over time getting pieces to Sylveon, so I do like that Zerora V. And Zooing Lilligan, okay. Alright, so we are heading towards the end of the opening. Can we stop pulling reverse Morphicos? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Uh, Mrs. Magius. Okay, so we have 14 packs left. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, if you guys want to comment down below what you think the best pull of the day was, right now it's definitely Lugia. Like, there's no doubt about it. It's Lugia V-Star. But if we get something else, uh, I would love to hear what you guys thought was the best. Um, through this opening. We have not gotten that many hits, which is really weird. Akulia. We only have one of these? How? Okay, well, uh, hopefully our uh, thing has that. Oh, Drudigan. Okay, so this is good in GLC. Um, Revenge, it does um, 160 if one of your Pokemon was knocked out, or any of your Pokemon were knocked out during the last turn, so okay. I do like character arts. Uh, Keldeo. Blech. I am not a fan of Keldeo. <laughs> like... I guess Keldeo is one of my least favorite legendaries, to be completely honest. <laughs> uh, ugh, Zerora. Alright, well, like, some of these are, were really good for pre-release. I went to a pre-release on, like, release, or, like, a couple days before release, uh, like, a week before release. So, another Rhydos. Okay, um, but it wasn't, uh, it was pretty cool to see... Uh, how these cards that you never would use again, how they're pretty, like, how they work in pre-release format. Nine packs left. Can we please get maybe, like, one more thing for Lugia? Or just one more thing overall? Because this is a little, a little sad. Okay. Frostlass and Mawile V, Okay. Um, Mawile V-Star is an interesting deck. Uh, let's see, I don't exactly remember what Mawile does. Uh, Sudden Eater, if it moves to the... It does 180. And then Star Rondo, you can switch it. Then you can boss. Okay, so it's a boss, too. Okay. So, a whole bunch of weird kind of cards. After this, we're heading into the not trade locked packs. V-Guard Energy, so I think that is our third V-Guard v -guard Energy. Our last, our... Rare is... Annoyed. Okay. We're starting to slow down again. And this is our first, like, not trade lock pack. So any of these cards I can trade, which is nice. Uh, Articuno. Okay, this is another weird, kind of like gimmicky card. So, we'll see how Articuno turns out, because it does have into paralysis. Excuse me. Um, okay, Jinx. Amoongus again. He's a Moongus. Coming down to the last few cards here. Can can we stop pulling? <laughs> Reverse more vehicles, please. 
Yay! Four steel stone! Alright, this is good. I'm glad that we got at least one of these. Um, during your turn, you can search your deck for a card. It's always like a mini Starbirth, but it's for any Pokemon. So, that's pretty neat. And it is not trade locked. But I'm not trading it because I need my four steel stone. Okay, another double hit. Come on. No. No! No, I don't want any more of you. I don't, I don't like you, Delvox. Your Brayson's just better. No, two packs left. Or three packs left, excuse me. Um, okay. Uh -huh. No. No. This has been a little bit of an underwhelming one, if I'm going to be completely honest. Maybe they'll pull through. We'll see. Dragonite. Okay, this is good for uh, Reggie Drago. Uh, 180, search your deck for three basic energy cards. Okay, last pack. Please have something good. Please just give us, like, a gold or something. Alright, here we go. I'm not gonna look. No, I burn. I'm not gonna look. <laughs> no! Alright, no, I burn. Double no, I burn. Whatever. Alright, let's open up this, uh, Mega Evolution pack. Yeah, let's go! We got uh, Rapidash, which is the one I kind of didn't want, because it is kind of the worst one out of them, but we did get the Archaeops build, which is good, because that means we now have more Archaeops. I believe we now have three Archaeops. We do have three Archaeops. Um, we have another Ultra Ball, which I do not need. Um, oh, we did. Okay, so none of these cards are really that good other than that. But, okay. Yeah, uh, that's gonna do it for the opening part of the video. Now, on to my special announcement. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this opening. If you're not going to stick around for the announcement, which is totally fine. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support and for 300 subscribers. And, uh, I'm really excited to continue on this journey with you guys. So, um... Yeah, with that being said, let's hear my special announcement. This video supports Pokegear.app, a Pokemon deck building website created by my friend Jake Gearhart. Pokegear offers accurate, up-to-date prices on every card straight from TCG Player. Pokegear also easily allows you to insert proxies into your lists, perfect for any pre-release deck building. If you want to support the channel and Jake, try Pokegear today by going to Pokegear.app or click the link in the description. Now, back to the video. That's going to do it for this video. I want to thank you all so much for watching and for supporting me and the channel so far. I look forward to making new Silver Tempest content. Here is a sneak peek of uh, what's to come in the future. But yeah, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. God bless. Have fun. We'll see you out there.